My name is Jack Caldwell. I'm the operations manager for the Black Rock Forest Consortium. We are standing on the deck of the Forest Lodge. We have 60 beds in the building, a main room we call the commons, and a kitchen and uh, four bathrooms. Black Rock Forest is 4,000 acres of land privately owned but run by a consortium uh, for uh, science research and education. The Science Center was in 1999. This building's 2004. The, uh, was completed and up and running. Number of people this building can handle. Uh, we have 60 beds, 10 bedrooms. Uh, mostly uh, we are occupied by school groups coming from New York City. Uh, over the course of a year, we probably average 2,700 what I call bed nights. The tanks over there are smaller in size since that's not a dormitory setting. It's a uh, it's an office space and laboratories for uh, educators and researchers and all. Um, those have not been emptied either in, uh, since, two, since 1999 when they were installed. Composting toilets and the, and the other green features of the building are, play into a big part of my orientation uh, talk to the groups that come in here. When I open up the, the lid to show them the composted material, they, they're very surprised. Pretty much odorless. There's uh, doesn't appear like it did originally. You know that sort of stuff. They get a kick out of seeing the the worms uh, moving about. My experience with the company after the installation uh, was was very positive. Don uh, was here a number of times, and he would just he would call me up. He's in the area. He'd like to come over, check things out, and he went through any of the maintenance concerns I have. He would come in and personally check the. Uh, twice to see if everything is all right, making sure the worms are happy and the, 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 the quality of the material that's being developed in there is, is, is right. I have no problem recommending it at all. Even when I speak to the kids and, the, and other adults, I make suggestions that uh, when they get old enough to build their own homes, to really consider putting one of these in. It seems to make a whole lot of sense. Uh, saving money, not buying water, nothing going out to a septic field or nothing going into a uh, sewer treatment plant that's going to pollute the Hudson River uh, and uh, those kinds of benefits and eventually getting material that you could use to enrich soil later on.